Good afternoon, everybody. We asked a question that was sent out. It was a good one. It was a good one this week. You had to follow on the entire scenario. And that is um, a poor individual was trying to find a house that he knows he's able to receive a free meal at. He knocks on what he thinks is the right house, knocks on the door. The person says, oh, yes, but first, before the free meal, what do you need to do? Polish my silver, do some uh, house cleaning jobs. After three, four hours of intense labor, he said, okay, by the way, this meal is over yonder, just across the street. The guy sits down at the meal, it's a lavish meal, he's eating, he turns to the guy next to him and says, you know, I work really hard for this meal, I mean, it's nice as a meal, but I work three, four hours this meal. The guy's like, what do you mean? He goes, what do you mean? I have to, pop. what do you have to do for your meal? He says, I just showed up here. He realizes that he was tricked. He was, uh, there's a scoundrel, there's a scam artist who basically got free work off the guy, knowing that he could then point in the right direction where he could find a, this meal. The guy goes back, the poor person goes back to the con artist. Did not pay for the meal? No, 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 not at all. He just sent okay. them over there. Yeah, yeah. So he, shows, he says, okay, you owe me money. You, uh, I worked for you over three, four hours. You didn't pay me. He goes, I didn't pay you. I got you a seven-course meal that was worth more than the hours that you worked. Who's right? So there's no question that in such a case, if the guy who made him do work would then have paid for the meal or have given him a meal from his own food, then... That would have been one thing. But even though the poor person agreed to work before he was doing his meal, that appeared only on condition that it was really connected. Since this guy who benefited from three or four hours of labor for free without having to pay a penny, that is totally inappropriate. Um, and that would be considered um, that you'd own the money. Now, the only thing is, what about the amount of money that the guy lost for pointing him out where he needs to go to? He could argue that, what do you mean? There's a cost involved. I, not for me, you wouldn't have gotten that meal. I pointed you in the right direction. Since I believe 99.999% of the time, people give people directions and they don't charge. I don't think anyone has a business. They're uh, asking for directions and I charge $10. I don't think anyone has such a business. And if the custom is not to charge for something, even if you provide a service that you want to charge for, if the custom is that no one charges for, you cannot go back and actually even claim money for it. That is found as a Choshi Mishpat, that's found in Simon Kuf Kaftet, in Siv Katan Kavbet, both the Ramah and the commentary of the Ksota Choshi, and Simta Ksota Choshi, and the commentary of the Ramah, that since the guy never made a Kenyan, you can't just go back and say, oh, give me money for actually point directions. No one takes money for directions, so probably, therefore, the amount of money that he received, minimum wage is now $14 an hour. $14 an hour for the three, four hours that he worked, you'd have to pay him back, because, of course, he was poor. And therefore, he was entitled to a free meal from some uh, Baltistaka who lived down the block. Who wins? I have to read them over. Have a wonderful day, everybody.